Welcome back to Sunless Sea. My main goal for this episode is to continue the Irrepressible Cannoneer's quest. And to do that, I need to make my way back up to Aram, which I can now actually purchase a... what was it? A Judgment's Egg? I can now finally purchase that from Aram, because I have just the right amount of secrets. I just have ten. So I'm going to make my way all the way up there, and to get there, I'm going to go first north and then east, kind of going the same way that I went before. So I'm going to take a stop at Wither, just get a bunch of port reports along the way, and I'm especially interested in stopping at Wither, and at Mount Palmerston, because I think both of those places should allow me to also satisfy one of the trade requests. So not only will I continue this quest, but I'll also get a bit of money while doing so. So I'm going to go all the way up there, to the right, to Aram. Not sure how I'm going to get back, but after I do get back, then I want to go down to the Iron Republic, which is where I need to take the egg. And then we'll see what happens. Can I do it all in this episode? I don't know. We're about to find out. All my affairs in London are taken care of. My hole is completely... My hold is completely filled up. Tons of fuel. Decent amount of supplies. Don't have a single spot of additional room to put anything more, so nothing to do but go and see what happens. My fear is at 48, so I'm going to leave my lights on for the most part. Hopefully I come across a couple crabs or really weak pirate ships so I can lower my terror a bit. Let's take a stop at Hunter's Keep. See what's going on with the sisters? Should I give them the news? Sure. Talk with Lucy? Is it Lucy the one that takes down my terror? Oh, lost 10 terror. That's really good. Awesome. And gain supplies. Let's take a stop at Vendor Bite next. Ooh, here we go. No! Damn it, I wanted a pristine hole. Hmm? Oh, it's the false stars again. The false stars in the cavern roof are shifting, are, are shifting a rare and ominous event. What now? Let's not record the changes, just... Don't look. There we go, everything's fine, just lost a little bit of tear, don't worry. So, they're gonna follow me, huh? I do not want to give them the option to shoot me. Here we go, now's my chance. Bolt of Spider Silk. I think that's worth 50 Echo. Gather up some supplies, too. Assuming I can hold them. Can I actually hold them? Yeah, I've got one slot. And that's taking my terror down to 34. Nice.
Where did this person want me to go for the promise? Where was it again? It doesn't seem to say. Maybe it says in my quest? I'll have to check it. Port report. And let's explore. Lost one tear. Cool. The Lamplighter's Arcade. Here they sell copper jewelry. Grimacing little faces and squat rectilinear figures. A tradition from before London, they claim. You part with a few small coins for a cheery looking thing with an expression like a tipsy bat. Perhaps it will bring you good dreams. Damn it. It's really hard to avoid him. See, this is where having a uh, better iron quality would be really helpful. Because I just do, like, my damage varies to the point where sometimes I don't quite do 20 damage. And both the bats and the, the megalops, whatever's... Both of those have 20 hit points, so if you don't kill them the first hit, it's as if you didn't really hit them at all. Because it doesn't affect them, it doesn't slow them down, it does nothing. A very inconvenient. Okay, let's go up to Wither and try to avoid the... Lifeberg, I think it's called. Probably going to turn my lights off up here because I don't want it to see me. So slow. Ugh. There we go. Alright, so I think Wither was a place where you had to trade stories and stuff like that for goods. And I think that's why I never bought any muter salt or something. Because I think they sold muter salt here. Let's see. Yeah! That... <laughs> that price is ridiculous. It's five freaking Z-stories for one Muter Salt, and I need seven. Seven times five. That's 35. I need 35 Z-stories to fulfill that trade request using... Uh, by buying my goods from Wither. That's ridiculous. It's going to take me 20 years to get that. Get a port report. Now, if I explore the town, does that mean I can't go to the house of the question? So, let's see. I already asked about the drowned man, which was kind of costly and didn't really gain me much of anything. I can either do that or defy the gods, which I definitely do not want to do. So, no, we're not doing anything there. Let's explore. A contest of riddles. Fisher folk, sailors, a shady couple of likely pirates. And is that a drowny down by the water's edge? I think I've already read this. They sit around a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something vicious... viscously black. Yeah, I think I've already read that. Hmm. 8%. percent 11%. 17%. 34%.
Well, my chances aren't great, but the cost for participating in these are actually pretty cheap. One echo? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll try the cheapest one. Why not? Oh, holy crap, I succeeded! A cat's shadow. The fisherman grumbles, but pays up. And, oh, I just gained some fragments. That's it. Let's not do shore leave. Time to go. Oh, Lifeberg. Let's see, should I go north and then east, or just like go straight east and hit Codex? Let's just hit Codex, because I have no reason to go up there, really. Other than the fact that this big lifeberg might capsize me. Now nah, we're good. Jesus Christ, look at my fuel usage. That is insane. Report. I think that's all we can do. They don't really sell anything of particular interest. Nope. I want to leave my lights off now just because that freaking fuel usage is ridiculous. It basically doubles it. Alright, let's hit up Frostbound. hold space do I have, by the way? Okay, so by the time I get anywhere where I could buy a uh, meter salt or anything like that, I should have enough hold space to hold it. And since I'm sure as hell not getting meter salt from Wither, I think I'm just going to buy the Devil Bone Dice from Mount Palmerston. Port. Can't do this because my dare is more than 20. Even if it wasn't more than 20, I don't think I'd want to do it. Because it says, you should not enter Frostfound without a good reason. And I don't have one. No shops. Let's go. Alright, Mount Palmerston next. See if I can have tea with the Deviless again. Now if I explore, I don't believe I can go up to the crater, so I should probably go up to the crater first. Let's do it. Um, looks like she wants to have tea with me again. A hesitant request. Unlocked with a crate of human souls. <laughs> Give the wistful deviless a crate of human souls. Um, yeah, about that. Or I can concede her your soul. Oh my god, no. What the fuck? 
Do you happen to have a case of souls for me? No, I'm not going to eat them. We don't eat souls. Usually. I'm not clear how that story got around. I just... <laughs> I told you that I miss London. I miss hell. I'd like a keepsake. And all souls are ours, you know. By right. Uh... Yeah... Concede her your soul. Or you could just lend me yours. She bites her lip and looks up into your eyes. I'll keep it safe. Much safer than at Z. If you drown, it'll be here with me. For always. Mortals do drown, so... She places a slender, sallow hand on your wrist. Through your cuff, it's warm as a stone in the sun. It won't hurt at all. This will surrender your soul to the Deviless. Yeah, no thanks. You do not, at the moment, feel that the Deviless needs any more human souls. A tearful nod. I understand. It is a little indelicate, but I've had so few human friends. I'm sorry if I'm tactless sometimes. Sit with me for a while. Let's just talk. Oh, and I have this hamper of honey fungus that your cook might find a use for. Hmm, honey fungus. That sounds disgusting. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna write a note to myself. Crate of human souls for the Deviless. Don't know if I want to do that either, but uh, maybe. I definitely don't want to give her my soul, but maybe I'll give her a crate of human souls. How do you package human souls? Are they in, like, bags that you tear open? Are they goo? Are they powder? Are they powdered human souls? Do they just dissolve in water and you drink them? How does that work? Okay. Ah, yeah, there's the devil bone dice. Actually, oh my god, I just realized. Alright, so... Before he, um, the trade guy, told me that he'd pay me 700, although it turned out to be 1,000, so I'll just say that. He paid me 1,000 for 7 Zoop. Now he's only going to give me 500 for 7 Devil Bone Dice. And I figured, you know, getting paid 500... Wait, did I just miss it? L let me say that again just to make sure. He's going to give me 500 Echo for 7 Devil Bone Dice. Yeah, I think I said it right the first time. Anyway... I was thinking 500 is probably not going to give me much of a profit margin, but the fact that the Devil Bone Dice costs only 19 actually makes it really, really good. It's extremely good. In fact, it's a better profit margin than the Zoop. There we go. 500 Echo waiting for me back at London. Should more than pay for all of my costs and supplies and fuel. I guess I'll buy one more fuel. Might as well. Actually, if anything, I probably should buy supplies. But they're kind of expensive. Okay, let's go. Alright, what to hit next? I could go through this dark region. Or I could go where I've already been. Hmm. I'm gonna go where I've already been. I'm gonna play it safe here. This place really scares me. I don't really want to go, uh, getting too adventurous here until I have the better ship. My Corvette. My lovely Corvy. Oh, hi. 
Okay, I'm gonna go around the other way. Is this place the gate to the land of cold? Gather some intelligence. Just as before, nothing moved. <laughs> I can look into the stars again. Still not going to do that. Did I ever buy a new weapon? Is this a good weapon or is this my original weapon? You know what? Remember how when I was purchasing weapons, I found a weapon that seemed to be better than a more expensive counterpart? I think they nerfed it. Because I think it was messed up. 12 to 12. Didn't it used to do like 14 damage? Or something like that? Or 16? I think they nerfed it, because I remember my damage being higher. I thought it was like 18 to 24 damage or something like that. Now it's 15 to 21. Yeah, I think they brought it back down to what it was supposed to be. Uh oh That's like a terror event, although my terror's only 41. Uh, let's spin them a story. Lost five terror. Okay, Chapel of Lights next. Oh, right, the chapel's bounty. Unfortunately, I'm not that hungry. It's got our intelligence, though. Might as well eat of their food. It's probably gonna poison me at some point or something, but for now, it's rich and red. No shops. Yep, that's it. Okay, almost Aram. Right there.
another strange port report that I haven't actually written. Oh! I still have a sack of Dark Drop coffee beans that I nabbed from the people at Station 3, I think. And I can use that to visit the House of the Amber Sky. Interesting. Let's get a port report first. Rest, traveler. Our waters are warm. Our cushions are petal soft. Lay your head here. You will be healed. Or better yet, you will be renewed. The House of the Amber Skies, a roofless space beneath the false stars of the Neath, rich with the scent of Arum roses. Despite the ice, it's warm as a desert, a desert evening. You will arrange yourself on the cushions. Close your eyes just for a moment. The mirror marches. Beneath the skin of dreams, behind the faces of mirrors, an orange sun sails in a fervid sky. Here are the borderlands of that place, close by Aram, and closest still to the House of the Amber Sky. And here you are, in another place. The sun is warm on your uncovered head. Three things you can do. Searing Enigma for this one. I need a wound and a Z story, or just a simple, simple bit of time for this one. Hmm. Here in the mirror marches, those who are wounded can sometimes find solace. I wonder what it means to have a wound. Like, how do you get a wound? Is that just some sort of a story event? Because usually if you fail a story event, you often just lose Zaylers or something like that. I've never gotten a wound before. Rarest fruit? In the, farthest, in the farthest south, in the arms of the god called Stone, a garden blooms. In ages past, birds stole the seeds from that garden. One bird flew hid here, in the mirror marches. Perhaps you know the story. I don't, but I would like to know it, if I had a searing enigma. Let's just rest, recover, and dream. The jungle around you is rich with violently colored fruit, buzzing with insects and unseen life. Explore a little. A Shattered Tower At the top of a low hill, a tower stump stands. The masonry, masonry looks eremi. The door is rotted, the space within filled with thorned vines. But cracked mirrors still hang on the walls, and in each one you see a different scene. Bright-eyed soldiers bind sharks in iron. Clay men war with closed colonies in the streets of Polythreme. The alarming scholar cracks soul tubes between his teeth. Truth? Dream? Or both? You will wake in the house of the amber sky. Your clothes will be stained with the juice of crushed leaves. Nice! Gain some memories and lost 20 terror. That's really nice. Okay, so, the original reason I came here was for the Judgment's Egg, and here it is. Ten freaking secrets for this egg. This better be worth it. Just to confirm, that is what I need, right? Let's just confirm, because that's really expensive and I don't want to mess it up. Take the seal and a Judgment's Egg to the Iron Republic. Yes, okay. Yeah, this is the weird thing, the... The one where it says, is this a soul? It's pale and bright. Souls like this, they say, are the spores of strange gods. There we go. Oh, it doesn't even take up any hold space. Excellent. I can sell a relic for... Wait. Am I crazy, or does that say I can sell a relic for zero secrets? If so, that's a very bad transfer rate. Or exchange rate, or whatever you call it. Anything else I want? I don't think so. Nope, I'm good. The question is now, where in the heck do I go? So do, do I go back the way I came, or do I take a new route? 
I think I should take a new route, simply for just getting new port reports. Yeah, because if I go back the same way, I can't get any port reports. So let's take another stop at Aceville. And then Nuncio. Should I go looking for supplies on Nuncio? I'll probably lose another Zaylor. But it sure as hell gave me a lot of supplies. I'm going to turn off my lights for a bit, because I don't have a huge amount of fuel, and my terror is pretty low. Actually, wait, I can't even do anything, can I? Because I don't have... Yeah, I don't have a... Something awaits you in port. Hmm. Well, let's get a port report. This will open on Thursday, the 19th of February. Have I done this before? Have I read this before? Hmm... No, I don't think so. A garden overgrown with berry bushes. A wooden trestle table, set for a meal. Chairs strewn with bones. A half dozen skeletons. A red-breasted bird perches on a grinning cranium. <laughs> it cocks an eye at you, and bursts into song. A liquid, thrilling sound. It seems unperturbed as you approach to poke through the bones. No signs of violence. No fire. No bullets. No bites. These people died peacefully sitting down to breakfast, as the surface sunlight spilled over them. Sunlight can kill at any time. The longer you remain here, the more danger you're in. So why did they stay? Perhaps they stayed because Aestevel is as beautiful as anywhere in the Neath, and ten times as generous. It's a fine place for a colony. You could found your own pocket kingdom. Or you could do something about the sun. But what? What has power over sunlight? What makes the impossible possible? Well, if I get like a... an away from port little ding in like the next 10 seconds, I'm probably just going to turn back and go get more supplies. Come on, I know it's coming. Uh, I don't know if I can afford to turn around. 13 fuel. Nah, okay, it's taking too long. I'm not going back. Going straight to Nuncio. Now that I'm actually at Nuncio, or about to be, I kind of wish I bought the Foxfire candles in the flare so I can go into the basement. Kind of. It would have been kind of expensive, though. And I do want that damn ship. There we go. That took a while. report. Anything more to do? Do I want to do another shift? Ask to borrow uniform and all that stuff. Trade war stories? Sure. Nah, it didn't change. Let's see if I can do another shift or something. Offer employment to the postal rat's niece. Hmm? He asks it as a favor, and she sounds well-trained and eager. Oh, he gives me, like, a free assistant. Interesting. I don't think I can use the assistants without one of those loader things. Maybe I can. So, so these assistants... I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but they cost 100 Echo, at least back at London. And you can use them during combat to heal 10 hole damage. And they're consumable, so they disappear after doing their thing. 
I'm not sure why. Like, do they just die or jump overboard after fixing your ship or something? I don't know, it's weird. Do they take hold space, though? I don't know if they take hold space. If they do, then I don't actually want them. Nah, let's not do it. Let's lay claim to a parcel that clinks. Cold silvery liquid. 24 bottles of a gleaming liquid that feels icy even through the glass. Each is stoppered and sealed with wax, with entwined initials S and C. And just to look at the bottles is to feel numbed and soothed and distant from terror. Outlandish artifact and lost five terror. Nice. Okay, let's go. Next stop, Port Cecil. Sure. I really love the music here. Oh god. Oh yes, the place of chess. The place where I got the Sintelac. Let's gather some intelligence. A 43% chance of success. And this is the thing that gives you a secret every time you succeed, right? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's explore the Coral Knoll around Port Cecil. I think I've already read that. Um. Hmm. He wants to come aboard? Unfortunately, I don't have any room. I'm sorry. I could pay his passage, but that is damn expensive. Sorry. And that's the same thing he said before. I, I think I met this guy in Vendor Bite before. He is very understanding, thankfully. Lost a little bit of terror, and that's it. Okay, let's go. What should I hit up next? Let's, um, let's hit up the salt lions. Yeah, that sounds good. Slight change in direction, but it gets me more port reports. Regal Complexes. <laughs> That's a really cool name.
Transport report. Pick over the encampment, I suppose. Sure. Gain two fuel and two supplies. Oh, I also gained terror. Hmm. Oh, well, it was worth it. I think. A restless night. Um, just ignore the screams. Lost one dare. Everything's fine. Your soul won't be stolen by the devil for many days yet. That's happening on Tuesday. I can feel the sense of relief already, just coming back to this place where I'm familiar with everything and I know that there's almost nothing here that could really kill me. Feels good. Report, report. Ah, yes, you can get cheap Zaylers if you need them. I don't. Explore the island, tea with the factor. I don't remember what having tea with the factor does. Let's do it. Gained a little bit of fragments, a little bit of supplies, and lost a little bit of terror. Okay. Alright, we're basically back. No more ports to call at. Boink. Don't have any news for these people on board this little lighthouse ship, so not gonna stop. What to do, what to do. Turn in my port reports. No, first let's get rid of my dice so I have more room in my cargo. Here you go, sir. Now let's see if he actually pays me what he says he's going to pay me. So before, I swear he said he's going to pay me 700 for the zoop, but he paid me 1,000. So here he very clearly says 500. 500. Okay, he actually paid me 500. When I was a boy, I asked my nurse, when you break a law, what happens to the pieces? Now I know. Now I know. But I need something else. He needs a lot of things, which I like because he has a lot of money, and I don't. Okay, now I have plenty of cargo room, so let's turn in my millions of port reports. <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Let's see how much echo I gained, too. I've got 2,200. Hmm. 
Nice. Gained about 300. How am I doing? 23 fuel. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. What else is there to do? Read the morning paper, right? There we go. And let's see. I don't need any more sailors. I don't want to hire any more officers. Don't need to do that. Anything to give you? I could give you my extraordinary implication. Let's do that. Two fragments, lost it, and gained 250 echo. Nice. I've actually almost got enough to buy the ship. Need 3,000. Do keep in mind, though, I don't just want just enough to buy the ship. I'm actually probably going to want, like, a, a safety margin of maybe 1,000 over. It costs 3,000 to purchase it, but I think I want 4,000. Because I want to be able to buy the ship. I have enough money left over to actually buy some guns to outfit the ship. Because otherwise, it's... You know, having a bigger ship is not terribly useful if you don't have more guns. It's not going to be much more effective at combat. It'll just be more effective at not blowing up. So I want extra money for guns, and maybe other stuff as well. I don't know, torpedo nets, things, something like that. So I want that. Um, I want enough money for just buying supplies and fuel, of course, and I also want enough money to be able to purchase more stuff to do just, like, trade requests and things like that. Because you you kind of need money to make money. So I think I want a kind of a, a safety margin of probably a thousand over what I actually need to buy the ship. So let's see, anything else to do? I don't want to give away my outlandish artifacts or anything like that. I can give her the Judgment's Egg. Hell no. That thing is worth ten secrets. Let's see, have I asked him what he wants me to find? Like, if he wants me to find a specific place? I guess I already have that or something. Okay, I think that's it. So let's just see what, the, what this guy wants me to get. Strange Catch. Where could I buy that? I remember that somewhere where I just went. Was it at Aram? Either that or hunting trophies. Hmm. I can't ever remember actually seeing hunting trophies. And he's not very helpful about telling me where I can actually get these things. So I'm not quite sure. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So my mission for this episode was a partial success. My goal was to go to Aram, get the Judgment's Egg, and then go down to the Iron Republic. I accomplished the first part, which is by far the lengthiest. Had to go all the way up north, all the way to the east, down, and then all the way back west. That was a long circuit. Managed to accomplish that without any serious issues. Got the Judgment's Egg and everything is good to go. But unfortunately, if I go down to the Iron Republic, this is probably going to turn into one of those hour and 15 minute episodes. So let's not have that happen. Just end it here. I really want to go down there and see what happens with this quest. I'm really freaking curious. Because I feel like this might be the end. But going to have to save it. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.